Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be coming up with an equation that models this situation and we're going to be comparing it to see if it matches up with any of these options. So we note that this model builder is making ships and the ship uses a to the sh all of the ships use a total of 2600 parts. That's going to be our starting point. So it makes big ships and small ships. So small ship parts plus big ship parts is going to equal that 2600. There are no other options to add up to the 2600, so it's just going to be those two. So how can these be de uh, delineated? Well, the small ships, we can see, think of as the number of small ships times the parts in each. And the same thing with the big ships. If you have 10 ships, 10 parts each, that's 10 times 10, 100 parts. Think of it that way. And they're still going to sum to 2,600. We've actually been given all the information that we need to fill out this equation. Number of small ships, we have S. Each small ship has 80 parts. Number of big ships is B, plus sub plus B. Parts in each is 150. And that's going to be equal to 2,600. So we have 80S plus 150B is equal to 2,600. Just to get it a little bit closer to what one of the answers looks like, just flip those two terms around. It doesn't actually change anything. This, if I'm not mistaken, is equal to answer C, which is going to be our answer for this problem today. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.